hello. Today is the first day of President Barack Obama being re-elected into office, Democrat. And this has literally forced many people into soul-searching that which voted Republican for Mitt Romney. And it is of clear conception that Four years were tough with Obama, and because he's been re-elected, it means he's the one for the job. And we all have a social and personal responsibility to accept that from an age of biology and knowing about molecules and creating a new synthesis today of IT, information technology and how communications bring us a synthesis of democracy promotion throughout the world without force as well as ethical social justice prevalence. Now when we're looking at these concepts this is very important to understand that there is no reductionism in a global human family. The world wanted Obama to be president. I was getting messages, even the Democratic office in Santa Barbara was getting uh, people from Netherlands showing up at their door, the headquarters, and saying, I want to help. And people were like, but you're on vac, you know, the, the office was saying, but you're on vacation. And they were like, but we want Obama to be president. And everybody was saying, I wish I was in America to vote Obama. So if there was this ethical, welcoming, collective consciousness on the global platform for Obama's re-election, why is there such a despondency to the work and legacy that he set out with his family? Well, first of all, number one is that inventions come from a need. And so a lot of the folks that are Republican feel worst off. Well, I got to tell you why. It's because you believe the big fat lie straight from hell. That you can butt the, butt the fuck and fuck the buck. And that has been failing you more than ever because you, maybe not yourself, but as a democratic consensus we find that people are into cheating the poor because they love capitalism at the expense of social ecology as well. You know the drill and you know the issues. People do not take care of themselves because they are hurting and if they understand that the care of the soul is of most importance then their affections of their soul will leave money and it'll go toward helping the poor. People do not have integrity and I'm speaking specifically to the Republican Party and they brag and telling folks that they need to feel guilty for breathing because the federal government wants everybody to work their booties off. But then there is this hypocrisy and so there is from that a fake integrity that comes forward. All these things are diminished right now because we have Obama in office. I'm talking about those things that create the habit and the social trends of what you may think works, but it doesn't. The solitary thing I can say to folks that are forced into this soul searching in response to their fear of losing their money is that the point is people won America not those thinking that their wallets can win and the problem is that the Republican Party preferred Mitt Romney because Mitt Romney masturbated the economic ego to preserve 
the American dream. The American dream is a nightmare. A goddamn nightmare. It is firmly rooted spiritually, however, in this country because our forefathers were occultists, astrologers, Freemasons, and picked an astrological time to sign the Declaration. America will always lead the world, and money is run by Satan. These things we have got to end. Such zeitgeist, where you want America to return back to what it is in the Sarah Palin type of rhetoric way. To return back to what it was, that meant America didn't have liberty to vote with women. That means America did not have liberty to include gay manity. America did not have the liberty to also honor black civil rights. You see, this international and multinational public rollout of hatred has escalated because Obama is president. That is because of the powerful decedents that you are experiencing in the moral tipping point of other makers and takers of the political system. Now, America will always lead the world because of money. And as a democracy, we've got to end this mere illusion because money, as you know, is temporal, fleeting, transitory. And when Mitt Romney was campaigning and folks bought the big fat lie that he was it, that was in direct cultural response to people voting in their own personal interest. Those voting for Obama voted personal interests for the people, not for the economy. That's a very important distinction if the Republicans want to sell your grandma, okay, and take people off of Medicare. I'm not going to get into the health care meltdown, but what we want to know is that this election was not so much about the social in America as well as your pocketbooks in America, but it was about the global stage. Obama was the one fit for the job because he's familiar with global diplomacy and the new world order bankster and terrorist plotters where nuclear is very likely. See, what you want is the protection of women and gay rights. And if you don't promote any queerological theoretical perspective in this election, then you're not going to win. And Mitt Romney did not promote women's rights or, or gay men. Especially women that need to protect their bodies and to be received rights and not be casted into a bad vote because of capitalism. The cognition and something thus known via perception of taking care of ourselves does not include the truth that all money exploits people. Money can do good things, but money does not supposed to rule the voter. Well, we are asking relevant questions. The new mental processes of becoming very spiritual consists of surrounding all things to God and Satan. And in that surrounding all things to both the dark and the light, we surrender. And then we can get into a peace and lose the conflict of greed, 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 which inevitably needs to be reduced, as well as corruption. These things will do that when we see that Obama was, let's say, the lesser of the evils. A lot of folks were apath apathetic and not wanting to vote due to the darkness on both sides. So the humanistic aspect to our soul is to be voting for the people. Now that does not mean getting on the gravy train and joining the team of uh, takers in the system. This is about the soul searching for the Republicans 
because the great manipulator is money and what it can buy. We have to come out and not hide, and we have to tell the truth. Now, there's a way of doing religion and a way of not doing religion. There's a way of being gay and not being gay. And every great thinker is going to contradict himself because of the metamorphoses and changing. And I want to encourage that the Republican in that metamorphoses needs to have a platform with Obama where we as gay men can reconcile this balance issue of there's a way to do church and a way not to do church. There's a way to do the gay culture and a way not to do the gay culture. Because the gay culture has been criminal. It's filled with drinking, hooking up with the devil and the dark-hearted men, heated righteousness, and the burning of sexual deep needs for meat. We want to help men accept these issues, and the Obama campaign allows us to do that. Happy Obama.